AutoCAD 2017 Drafting Design Control Arm. In this tutorial, we will go over drafting techniques designed from a 2D model to a 3D draft, such as customized templates, command line toolbar options, dimensioning techniques, layout settings, and drafting standards set up on a control arm. To begin, we have our model design and proceed to the Layouts tab, but we will right click and we will create a new layout from a pre created template, which we will use a manufacturing metric template with a isometric A3 title block. Now we can proceed to the title block and input any relative size, drawing dates, checks, approvals, issued, and revisions. But we will continue on by right-clicking on our title block and assure that our drafting standards are set to a third angle projection, which it is. Now we will go to the Homes tab and create our layers for our dimensions within the layer properties. and give it an appropriate color. Proceed back to annotation and we will use the dimensions layer. Then we will manage our dimension styles to correspond with the title blocks dimensions. We will modify and within these dimension style standard settings, we are given different options to change the, the dimension lines and extension lines, the arrow heads, the center marks, the text appearance, text placement, the fit options, text placement options, linear dimensions, scales, alternate units, and tolerances within symmetrical, deviation, limits, and basic. First, we will edit our symbols and arrows to be a size of three millimeters. Then we will change our text size to also be three millimeters. Then we will change our primary unit's precision to be a whole number and leave our fit alternate units and tolerances default. And set the current annotation settings. Now we are ready to proceed to the layouts tab and import a top view from model space. And from here, we will create a aligned section break, which will run in between the three cylinders. Right click and hit enter. Now we can double click on our section break to open up its properties. We will change the section style to be metric, exit the properties and update our scale settings. From here we will now select our section view and edit the view and disabling the hatch lines. From here, we are ready to start inputting all of our dimensions within the Annotations tab, where we will be using the Smart Dimensions function.
Now we can start to input our radiuses and diameters. and input the dimensions amounts. And that completes our control arm drafting tutorial.